you everyone in this video I'm going to talk about Ajax well I also included ASP.NET along with PHP because the advantages and disadvantages remain pretty much the same well we know what Ajax is Ajax stands for asynchronous JavaScript in XML and we know the benefits of it well I have uh, created slides in PowerPoint and I'm gonna talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages well let's talk about the advantages before we get to the disadvantages because we always want to hear some good news right anyway so the advantages are many I've just listed a few of them now we get the clicker three pages because it's like when you are trying to do something instead of page, page reloads you just stay on the same page and things do happen and best user experience we know that because of course if you have worked with Ajax enabled pages you know what I'm talking about here and desktop like applications the reason why I've listed this point right here is it was so easy if you're working on a desktop application you get all the fancy things like the uh, the uh, dialog box and drag and drop and all that but it wasn't there in uh, in the web environment earlier on but thanks to Ajax it has pretty much accomplished something to some to a certain degree and then we have no waiting for page reloads you don't have to wait for some data to come back from the server it just happens automatically with the same while you are on the same page okay well there are many advantages of using ajax so this is something that uh, these are the uh, main ones so let's talk about the disadvantages yes there are there is there are a few disadvantages of using Ajax so let's quickly get to that we have this point right here it says not easy to bookmark pages because as you know that the page URL remains the same if you're working on Ajax enabled pages the URL does not change because everything goes on on the same very page similarly the back button will not produce the same result because all the actions on Ajax enabled pages are happening on the same very page so if you click on the back button things will not be there as you expected them to be and the last one is the client may disable the JavaScript at any time for example the, the client may not be willing to uh, work with Ajax uh, or uh, the client may not be willing to uh, enable JavaScript on his browser on his or on his machine. So if the client disables the JavaScript, the pages will not show. It will not produce the same result. So these are few of the disadvantages. You can come up with your own. So this is what I've listed here. So that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Keep tuned in as I'll be releasing a few more videos. Do leave your comments down below if you have found this video useful or if it, if, what, if it was helpful to you just leave your comments below of course you can write some more advantages we can just add more to this list thanks for watching this video have yourself a good day